One of the most common queries I get sent to me over Instagram or Twitter is why are my Google ads performing poorly and not getting me any sales? In this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you five ways you can improve your conversion rate through Google ads. And some of these are changes on your website side of things. Some of them are on the actual Google ad account itself. There's not one secret recipe. If you like a whole host of factors come into play with this, but in today's video, like I said, five ways, in my opinion, five of the most significant significant ways you guys can improve the results you are seeing from Google Ads. Just before we jump into this, if you are interested in working with my Google Ads agency, I will leave a link to adraw.co.uk in the top of the description. We specialize and help e-commerce businesses with their Google Ads, whether you're running Google Ads and are simply struggling and you want us to help and scale for you, or if you are already an established business, for example, you might be running Facebook ads or TikTok and you wanna explore Google, that is something we can help with as well. So top of the description for that, if you are interested, just fill out the form on the homepage. Now, first things first in this video, fast websites, fast landing pages. You want a fast website in general, but more importantly, you do want your landing page that your traffic is going to, you want that page to be quick. People have a short attention span these days, more so than ever. People are not gonna sit there and wait around 20 30 seconds for your website page to load it just won't happen your bounce rate is going to be extremely high if you have a very slow website essentially like i said people don't have time to wait around and they don't have the attention span to sit there and wait for something to load now a number of things can be causing your website to be slow this can be images on your landing page being a large file size you might want to get these compressed it could be other things within your actual themes code such as unused code for example, if you've had an app on your Shopify store that you deleted, more often than not, the code of that deleted app will remain within your system and your website. You want to remove that unused old code because it doesn't need to be there and it could be slowing your store down. And even some of the existing apps you might be using on Shopify may be slowing your store down. If you're not 100% comfortable in managing this yourself, you know, removing code and things like that, there are plenty of people on Fiverr, for example, that you can hire and they'll basically do an entire optimization process to speed up your website. It may be a little bit expensive, but I can assure you it will be worth your investment. Now, there are many ways you can check the speed of your website. If you're running Shopify, you can simply go to your online store theme. It will give you a speed result or a quality score, should I say, for your website speed. You can use tools like this right here, which is Google's own developer uh, website speed checker. It's called Page Speed Insights. Just load this up, enter your URL. It will give you a a variety of different scores here some of this is quite complicated and you know like I said you can share this with a developer on Fiverr so I've just taken Fashion Nova here as an example it will take about a minute just to load everything and give you sort of an overall performance score you can see Fashion Nova's overall performance score or speed score is 9 which is obviously shocking you know you can see here these are sort of the guidelines you know 90 to 100 is almost a perfect speed you know really quick 50 to 89 is amber you know pretty good I think if you can aim to get at least a 50 speed score that is such an improvement if you've got a complex website it is going to be hard to get up to this range but most of you watching this video are probably in this range here and your goal should be to get at least a 50 score here so use this tool it will give you a good insight onto your current website speed like i said if you need it improving and you can't do it yourself a small investment to a web developer is definitely worth it now number two something i ramble on about all the time so i'm going to keep this short and keep it simple google conversion track Tracking. It is the most important thing you need to do on your Google ad account before you spend a penny on ads. Now, you don't want to be running ads and not have your Google conversion tracking set up. Now, same with Facebook. Google is never going to track 100% correctly. In my personal experience, obviously, you know, Facebook isn't great at tracking since the iOS update. For me, Facebook probably tracks about 60 to 70% of all conversions correctly, whereas Google is around that 80 to 85% for me, I would say. And essentially, allowing Google to track your conversions will overall optimize your account it will tell Google what your typical customer looks like it will help them show your you know shopping ads your search ads to the right people because if you've had a thousand conversions in your Google account for example Google is going to have a pretty good idea on who to show your ads to to basically give you the best chance of getting a conversion so you want to be gathering all this data and you do that by having your conversion tracking set up correctly I've mentioned my developer a million times 
times in my previous videos. You can contact him on Fiverr. I will leave a link to his service down below. He does it very quickly, very efficiently. So if you need your Google conversion tracking set up correctly, or if you think you've got it set up and it, you don't think it's correct, honestly, just message him. He'll fix it very quickly for you. So drop him a message. His Fiverr link will be down below in the description. Now, number three is going to be your product imagery. And that isn't just the images you're using in your Google ads. These are the images on your website and your landing page as well. Again, like I said at the start, a lot of people come to me and say, you know, my ads aren't converting, my website's not getting any sales. And nine times out of 10, the first thing I see and tell them to change is the product images. So, I mean, just an example here, this is a typical example of what I see quite often. An example product is this Galaxy projector, obviously quite a, you know, trendy drop shipping typical product you might see on Facebook. People will be running their website or their store with this image here as their main product image. And I'm sure most of you can agree, it's not good. I mean, people will run it still with the watermark up here. It, it just doesn't look very good for a number of reasons. You know, you've got these extra overlays here and you know, there's almost too much going on. And I know it sounds simple and you know, people have probably said this a million times before, but people honestly just rapidly build a Shopify store, keep all these watermarks on their product images. They think their product's gonna sell and that's just not the case. You might have a great product on AliExpress that you found, it's got good demand and things like that but the images are terrible. Just order the product yourself and take your own pictures because then you'll stand out from the competition because you're not using the same pictures as somebody else. You'll have higher quality pictures as well, which will just naturally make your website look more legit. If you've got really low resolution pictures, it's just not gonna work. And I know again, this is very self-explanatory, but this is basically what separates the lazy people from the people who are actually willing to, you know, try this and make this work and, you know, put time and effort and a bit of money into this as well. So if you're not 100% sure the image you're using is high quality and the best it could be just order the product yourself and I'm sure you'll be able to make something a lot better now if you are already drop shipping and perhaps you're working with a fulfillment agent in China message them about different product images they can speak directly to the factories you're purchasing your goods from they might have access to more images they can arrange photo shoots for you out in China which is often a quicker process than shipping the product obviously over to you to do it yourself this is something I have done myself with a few of my products you know I work with a fulfillment agent so I do quite a lot of volume they arrange photo shoots for me so I can stand out and get the best product images possible so overall for this point don't be lazy get better quality product images, even if it means doing it yourself. Number four, product reviews. Amazon, for example, is built on product reviews. The success of a product on Amazon is based on their reviews. Now, I'm not saying add a 1,000, 2,000 reviews to your Shopify product. It won't look legit, and two, you don't really need to anyway. For me personally, for each product I have on my store, I start with around five to 10 product reviews, and this doesn't mean just use a review importer or on AliExpress and just import 10 reviews without reading them. Them or just looking at the images. For some people, again, when they show me their dropshipping stores, they'll have 300 AliExpress imported reviews with either no text and just an image, poor quality images, you know, poorly translated text that doesn't make any grammatical sense, and essentially nothing that is going to help improve the conversion rate of that product. So I say to people, you know, if you have five or even 10 good quality, well-written product reviews for a product on your store, that is a great starting point. And they don't all need images as well. For me personally, a lot of my product reviews don't have images. You know, let's say you're starting off, you're adding 10 reviews to your product, only have two or three with an image. You don't need all 10 to have images, just thorough, well-written product reviews that almost sell the product for you. And an example I thought of is, you know, say if someone is looking at a kid's toy, you're selling you know a battery operated kids toy that's rechargeable obviously you're going to put the usage time in the product description and things like that but you might want to include a product review where someone has said how long exactly the product lasts on a full charge and then how long it takes to charge that product just little things like that that add a bit more context and information to a product could help and could be the difference between someone purchasing and not because people are always drawn to reviews they want to see what other people think of a product before they purchase it now for my stores and my businesses and my clients as well I always refer and recommend looks reviews probably the biggest review app on Shopify I do have an affiliate link for them as well you'll find that in the description below incredibly cheap incredibly easy to use so if you don't have any reviews on your store you need to get these because this is something that will dramatically improve your conversion rate if done correctly like I just said don't mass import junk 
do it properly and just put some thought behind it basically. Now to end off this video is gonna be a particular strategy that I have used for quite some time now on Google and that is setting a target ROAS basically on your campaigns. For this specific thing, this mainly applies to Pmax and standard shopping. Now just jumping over to my US Google business here, you can see pretty much every campaign in the account has a target ROAS set. And essentially what this means, if you don't know, let's take this campaign here, 350% target ROAS. I'm telling Google over a 30 day period i want you to get me a 3.5 roas on this campaign so we've gone last 30 days here you can see it has achieved a 3.58 so pretty much bang on the target roas this is something you don't want to fiddle around with on a daily basis set it leave it for a month or you know even longer now you'll probably find this will limit your scalability and your overall ability to spend your daily budget perhaps but it is a good way just to sort of have a bit more control over the quality of traffic you're receiving from google and the types of people that are coming to your website because it's going to prompt google to drive traffic that they think is going to convert and you'll notice a higher conversion rate with the target roas on compared to if you run a, you know a shopping or pmax campaign without a target roas now that's not 100 guaranteed all the time from my personal testing the conversion rate is always higher with the target roas obviously don't go in there and set a you know 700 percent target roas because it probably won't spend at all you've got to be realistic about it and if your account has very few conversions tracked already you might not be able to use a target ROAS bid strategy on standard shopping and it may not spend anything with Pmax with a target ROAS if you don't have much data there so you almost may be forced to run at a loss just to gather conversions with Google so you can then have enough data to run successfully with a target ROAS but longevity over time this is a great bid strategy and I'm sure most of you watching this video and have made it this far you know have enough data within your account to you know give this a go so those are five important things that you guys should consider and potential changes you can make and implement to improve your conversion rate obviously this is google ads focus but this can pretty much apply to most other ad platforms as well a lot of the things you need to do and you know that you can test to improve your conversion rates are actually done on your website rather than you know all the nitty gritty settings within a google campaign for example because at the end of the day the conversion is taking place on your website and if it looks like rubbish they're not going to convert so it is incredibly important if you've got any questions drop a message down below and like i said at the start if you want to work with my google ads agency just fill out the form on the website homepage link in the description thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video